I have to say, Yen Su, that I'm not used to seeing dead bodies. I heard about the cemetery, one in the middle of Bali, far off the normal trail. They said it's shocking and it can only be visited by boat. At its center, there's a tree that gives off a wonderful scent. Legend says people came from far and wide to smell this tree, and a man came searching for the source and fell in love with the woman. She told him, I will marry you if you hide the smell. I'll be yours if you hide the smell. So you can't you can smell the bodies. Those does that's the smell of dead bodies. Yeah. You smell dead. Normally it's really really strong. Yeah. Look at the skulls. It doesn't smell inside. Which which, which is the the tree? This one here. This is the tarumanya. And so before the dead bodies were here, you could smell a really sweet smell. And because people were coming from all over <laughs> to, see, to see what the source of the smell was, they put dead bodies. Yeah, the dead bodies to naturalize the beautiful smell. As far as they know, this is the only one on the planet. So they say. Oh, I hear the bodies. bring it to the with the dead as uh, whatever they use in their life so they will bring it here with the dead that as a gift and then we believe in the other life they still use so these are their possessions yes belonging to them and they still come and because we believe they might still use it in their uh, in the afterlife. different life so how old are some of these this is the new I have to say, Yen Su, that I'm not used to seeing dead bodies or smelling dead bodies. In North America, we protect ourselves from seeing the dead. We, uh, we hide from it, and this is very real. For Hindus, like yourself, death isn't that big of a deal, right? Because you're coming back, you're being reincarnated anyway. Right. So I guess if, if you don't think that this life is the only life you have, and death is your real death, um, then this isn't that big of a deal because you're coming back in a new body anyway. Yeah. And this is one version of yourself. That's true. But just to recap, this is our famous tree. And actually, if you stand beside it, you don't smell anything. Uh, it's. I don't know what to say about that. It's incredible, actually. Uh, there's 11 cages behind me, and each one um, has a body inside. When a new one's brought here, they take the oldest uh, out, their skull goes up on the wall, and the newest takes, takes their spot. Ah, oh, so yeah. you have to die of natural causes. You and have to be married, because that's one of the big purposes in life. Yes, and then, uh, then you can be placed at here. And then you can be placed here. And if you are not married, even you are old, even you are 60, 50, but not married, then we'll be placed at other place. Because you believe that life's not complete unless yeah. you're married. So, uh, and is, is any of your family here? Yes. Of well, course. My grandfather. Your grandfather's here. Everyone from the village is, we hope to be placed here. 
which means that we have complete our, our life. So Yansu was saying it's a bit kind of like the Hall of Fame, where if you die of natural causes, it's an honor to be put in one of the cages. But if you die from a wound, or maybe you get killed by a car or something, you don't actually get put in one of the cages. You go uh, in another cemetery. I think one of the most important things in life is understanding that you're going to die. Yeah. And we ignore it so much. And if you understand that really everything you do in your life doesn't really matter because you're going to die and all the other stresses might not be so important because eventually you're going to end up like this anyway. Yeah. <sighs> So did they end up getting married, the guy and the girl? Happy ending to the story, at least. All right, we are in Yansu's grandparents' house, enjoying some fried fish chips and some fried rice. <laughs> and some Bali coffee. And some Bali coffee. So the graveyard experience made me feel pretty uncomfortable. How did it make you feel? No, no, big deal. No, big, no big deal. But isn't that crazy that I think it's a super big deal, that it's a, one of the craziest things I've seen, but for people here, it's no big deal at all. That's why I love travel. Actually, I saw the cemetery and I was looking at message boards and I found his contact. I'll put it below. If you're going to come here, please contact him because I had an awesome time today. And I can guarantee that he will make you have an awesome time here too. Experience over possessions, kick the grind, and I'll catch you guys later. And subscribe. <laughs> And subscribe. <laughs> Later, guys.